In a place where guns are almost non-existent, this is a rare sight. People firing weapons of any kind as a familiar tune plays overhead. It certainly looks and feels like a real gun, but as you can tell from the sound behind me, it's actually an air gun. In fact, in the entire metropolitan Tokyo area, there is no place where you're allowed to fire a real weapon. Air guns are enough for me, this man says. It's similar to a real gun, so that's all I need. This student tells us I wouldn't be comfortable with a real gun even if I could buy one. Which leads to the question, what does it take to purchase a real weapon here in Japan? We paid a visit to one of Tokyo's few gun stores, a shop that dates back to the late 1800s. It sells shotguns and rifles, but you won't see any handguns. They are outlawed in Japan. Today, Masaomi Nishigaki is here to buy a shotgun. But as this former police officer tells us, it's been a lengthy process, starting with a class, followed by a written test. After that, there was a skills test at a range. I also needed medical clearance to show I was mentally fit to own a gun. And I had to file an application with the police, he tells us. That application even includes the exact gun he's looking to buy. All told, the process took about 40 days. This is a tool that can end someone's life. There should be a strict screening process. When it comes to guns, the statistics in Japan are hard to ignore. This is a country that is home to nearly 130 million people. And in 2011, while more than 8,500 people were killed by guns in the U.S., in Japan, the number was eight. In 2006, it was just two. Some say it's unfair to compare Japan and the U.S. as guns have never been a part of Japanese society. So what about a samurai sword? This sword I'm holding here, which is about 350 years old, I could purchase it right now without any background check, but still, every single sword in Japan is registered with the government. And as for the gun debate in the United States, many here, including those back at the air gun range, are watching it closely. There are so many firearms in the U.S. I understand why you'd want to defend yourself. But here, we hardly have any guns. And I hope that it stays that way.